Ashland Post 77 defeated Somerset in game one of the state tournament 16 to two on Saturday, July 22nd, which meant for the Sunday, July 23rd game, they earned a date with District 5 foe Newton under the lights at Fino Field in Milford. Post 77 lost to Newton both times they played them this season, so would they get revenge? Top of the first, Newton got the offense started early. Going to allow Hodgson the easy advance to second base. A frustrating situation here where you clearly see some runners interference, but the no call has Jake Obid heated. Runner leading off of second, Obid takes a look and now is set to deal. This is hit in the air to right field and that is going to drop down for a base hit being waved around third is Hodgson and it is going to be one to nothing Newton an RBI double for Mars Janik. Newton put up three runs in the first and then added two more in the third and led five nothing until Ashland came up in the bottom of the fourth. Set to deal to Pesson. And he puts this one up the left side. That's going to get through for a base hit. Lead runner being waved around. Here comes Hornung. He comes around to score. And Ben Thomas up to third. It's an RBI double for Zach Pesson. There is some life in that Ashland dugout. As this is up the middle, it takes a couple hops on the grass. Throw over by the second baseman in time, but a run scores. Ben Thomas comes around to score the second post 77 run on the sacrifice RBI ground out by Lewis Rossi. Coker looks at third and deals a breaking pitch. Oxy will get a little boot shot back to Coker who's going to throw it away over the first baseman's head it goes and Zach Pesson has scored the third post 77 run of the night. Wow. That is a bad error if you're Newton. Coker looks at second and is set to deal. Runner taking off to throw over to third, and it is not going to be in time. They give Ansu the stolen base. That was a close one. Off hitter do up next. Up the third base side, and that is gloved by the third baseman. The throw crosses a tough one. It's not in time. It got away from the first baseman. A run already in for post 77. It's a 5-4 to four ball game. I'm giving that a single. That was a tough throw to make. Taking off over to second to throw up is not in time. A stolen base for Seymour, and I think Seymour did beat that out. That is a good call there by the umpire. Evan has responded. Runner leading off of second, the lineup and the pitch. Down low, briefly got away from the catcher. The throw to third is not in time. The speedy Seymour beats it out. He's, he's angry. He's still hot over that play in the first inning. Coker deals up the first base side, past the reach of the first baseman. Fair ball. The game is tied as Seymour comes around to score. Obed still going over to second base. He's loving it. Five to five. This game has had all kinds of suspense. Up the third base side, past the reach of the third baseman. Lead runner being waved around. Here comes Obed. The throw in is off the mark. Obed scores. He didn't. Ketcher did not give him a lane. And Obid is loving it. The catcher was looking for interference. Payback. But he did not give Obid a path to home plate as he should. And all is well as Jackson Horning over at second base after driving in the lead run. Ronan Bates up to third has no warm up action whatsoever. Up the left side, and that takes an awkward hop past the third baseman. It goes, Bates around to score. And it is 7-5, post 77. The throw over to second to try to get Thomas from the catcher is going to be dropped by the second baseman. A seven-run inning, 7-5 seven to five remained the score until post 77 came up again the very next inning. Wind up in the pitch, up the right side. That's going to trickle through for a base hit. Lead runner being waved around. The throw in is going to be not in time. Ansi scores and will throw up to second. Obed safe. And it's an 8-5 ball game. Jake Obed taking out his frustrations on the field. And he gets his second RBI base hit of the game. Throats two on. 
And this is a very slow roller up the grass. No one's going to get to it in time. And another post 77 run's going to score. The throw home. And they have Obit in a pickle. He runs out of the base paths. And he's out. Two more in the fifth. Nine to five post 77. But in the top of the eighth, Newton was looking for a comeback against relief pitcher Dylan O'Leary. Whoa. For those of you just joining us, it has been one exciting game here at Fino Field. And that one going to get by Jewett. Took an awkward bounce in front of him, and another run scores. Newton closed in. It's 9-7, to seven, one out, two on. Jimmy Hodgson at the plate. He deals. And this is hit in the air to right field, and it is caught. Runner from second is going to tag and head to third, and he will be successful in doing so. But did he tag? And no, he did it! It's a double play! A great throw in from center field. Ronan Bates catches the runner, not tagging up, and they get out of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth now. Could post 77 add some insurance? Check in at third, and the runner is picked off. He's going to head home. The third baseman bobbled the ball. The throw to the plate is going to be off the mark. The catcher could not lay the tag on Hornung, and it's another post 77 run. 10 to 7, Ashland. Ashland led 10 to 7, heading to the top of the ninth. Newton down to their final three outs, but they weren't ready to give up just yet. Catcher having a pretty good day at the plate. We'll send this one into center field. That'll drop in for a base hit. Byrne is going to be waved around third and will easily score Newton's eighth run of the night. An RBI single for Gately. Hit in the air, a high fly ball to center field, ranging in and making the catch for the final out is the center fielder. Newton gets one run, but it's not enough as Ashland post 77 takes them down by a final of 10 to eight and improves their record in the state tournament to two and zero, oh, and most importantly, stays in the winner's bracket. Post 77 next meets up with Braintree on Tuesday, July 25th, 7.30 p.m. at Fino Field in Milford, under the lights. Jake Obid went two for four at the plate, had a walk, a couple RBIs, and a run scored. He also pitched seven and a third, striking out eight, and battled through a very tough Newton lineup. He was all smiles and so happy to capture the W against the Division Five foe. I mean, we definitely in the start of the game, we fell away from our approach we've had all season. Um, and myself included, especially, I come out there, I was way too hyped. I walked the guy on four pitches. Um, I think I threw 30 in the first and then like another like 25 or 30 in the third inning. So I mean, take away those, I, mean, I would have hopefully been able to go online. But, um, but I mean, we, we had a little meeting, um, we got back to our approach and all it took was just scoring that first run, just getting that first guy across. And then right after that, it just kept carrying over. Um, I think we got seven or eight in that inning. Um, so that was, I mean, yeah, that was, that was unbelievable. And I mean, it just speaks volumes of this team. One through nine, we can hit. Everybody can play the field. Everybody has each other's backs and we're all resilient. We don't quit. And we have fun while we're doing it too, which is the best part. Oh, you, you uh, certainly seemed like you had a lot of fun out there today. That's for sure. Uh, now in that first inning, you got frustrated when it, it was a clear interference uh, uh, with, with the runner, uh, you know, trying to get to first base. It was clearly some interference there. You didn't like the call. You ended up giving up a few runs, but then you seemed to uh, settle down. Um, could you talk about what was going through your head when that call was made? Was it uh, just anger or uh, what was going through your head when that happened? I mean, so when I when I got up and grabbed the ball, I was expecting to see the umpire holding his fist up for an out. Um, I mean, he did. He thought it was. He thought it wasn't interference, but you know, they had an umpire up there who said it was. Uh, anyway, um, so I mean, I was I was definitely angry because then it started to spiral. But I I should not have let that call get to me. I should have settled in, stuck with my approach, and just thrown strikes. But I got a little too pissed, and I was getting pissed at every everything. My teammates too. Um, but I mean, they had my back and they picked me up when I needed it, and then I was able to get on a roll. And then in the third, I think I let up two more. Um, and I was just, I mean, thanks to like, I mean, Babs was in here, literally. No one's in there every, anymore. No, all right, get out of here. <laughs> Babs was in here after every inning, like talking to me, settling me, settling me down, and that helped me really gain my composure and keep it when things got rough a little bit.
Well, then on the seven-run rally, you seem like you're having the time of your life out there. You were all smiles out there, and I believe we caught you dancing on the mound a few times. Oh, yeah. I uh, couldn't beat it. I couldn't, I could not. I was dancing my wind up, you know. <laughs> and it seemed like after that happened, though, you had to go uh, prove something. You wanted revenge. Yeah. Uh, so what was it like to get that revenge? It, it, had a, it had a taste pretty sweet. Oh, uh, yeah, and especially against this team. I mean, that's a very good team, but uh, I hate those kids. I hate every single kid on that team. Um, <laughs> So that was sweet, and it was. I, I find it really funny that uh, they tried to talk to us, talk some smack after uh, after losing in a state state tournament game. So. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, how's the arm feeling, by the way, after uh, 125 pitches or so? So the arm before this game feeling horrible. Um, adrenaline's pumping right now. It feels great. When I wake up in the morning, I'm not really. I don't even know if it'll be there. I don't even know when I turn over and look. I don't know if it's gonna still be attached to my body. So. Uh, We'll have to see come uh, come 9 a.m. tomorrow. All right. Well, we'll let you go rest up and get ready for tomorrow night's game. Congratulations on a great one tonight, Thank Jake. You. I appreciate it. All right. Excellent. And now uh, head coach uh, Derek Johnson, coach, that had to be uh, an emotional roller coaster for everyone on the team and you. Uh, what an unbelievable game that was. Can you just talk about uh, what was going through your head throughout this wild, wild game tonight? No, I was excited coming in here. You know, we got the first win. And I think our program's history in the States. Um, I think the problem is, you know, what took him off his, his game is uh, just, uh, you know, just uptight, nervous, exactly. His adrenaline, his heart was going through the roof when I went out there in the first inning. And, you know, we just got to settle down and, you know, get back to our game. And I told him, I go, this is nothing like the, just like the Medford game. We go down eight to two, you're going to come back. You just got to keep fighting. And then they were just all uptight and Babo was huge in the, but Babo was huge. He got Jake calmed down, got through that inning, got through the next inning. Like, and J like Jake said, we get that first run, and the momentum goes, and we just pedals, pedal to the ground. And what do you think led to that seven-run rally? Do you think it was wanting to beat this Newton team so bad that really just gave him the adrenaline to uh, just have a, the, a crazy inning like that to score seven runs? Do you think adrenaline played a part in that inning? Uh, I think it was, and then it was just like, you know, they got back – to how we play baseball, you know, we want to have fun. You know, they were quiet. They, like I said, I'm gonna say it over and over, uptight. Right. You know, you we we're a loose team, and once we got loose, you get that first one. The kids start cheering, loosen them up, and it just it's effective. Well, coach, it's been a lot of fun so far, and we're looking forward to more fun games, including tomorrow night. We'll let you go rest up. Congratulations on another W. Thank you, thank you.